I'm 92.6% sure I'm going to pronounce this name wrong, but Cesari, apologize, man, if I'm wrong about that, uh, says, you said many times that uh, you would like to legalize tax and regulate drugs. What specific drugs would they be? What is your position on other countries on this topic? Do you think Holland now is going too far with regulating marijuana? Um, okay, so I don't know the exact uh, situation in Holland. Are they, they legalized it and regulated it? Because if that's the case, I totally agree with them. That's exactly what they should do. Um, in terms of uh, what does it like really mean when I say legalize, tax, and regulate? Uh, it means... It doesn't mean that any kind of substance you can come up with is is legal. It means you legalize drugs and you tax them, but you also regulate out of existence the worst varieties of them. So, to give specifics, would this mean that, you know, crocodile is legal? Well, no, crocodile is, uh, you know, the poor man's heroin, it's called but it's cut with so many uh, disastrous chemicals that the average lifespan after somebody starts taking it is like a year or two years max. It basically kills you and rots you from the inside where your skin falls off. It gives you uh, the heroin-like high, but it's, it's, it's even worse for you than heroin. So would that be legal in this system where I legalize tax and regulate drugs? No. Um... Instead, we would have a more benign version of that kind of substance legal. So we're talking about opiates or opioids. Lower level opiates or opioids would be legal. Um, when it comes to uppers, so like crystal meth. Well, crystal meth, same issue as crocodile in that it's cut with really, really uh, disastrous chemicals. So how do you uh, fix that situation? Well, you regulate out of existence crystal meth and you allow in a lower form, a more benign form of the same kind of an upper or amphetamine. So there is a question as to where the line is, but in my ideal system, you have a version of each kind of drug that is legal so that the majority of the marketplace can go to a, a safe, a safe, a relatively safe regulated substance to get the high as opposed to going to the black market to get a substance that could be unregulated and unsafe and get an even more potent high that, you know, could actually be, uh, could actually endanger them. So it doesn't mean that you have, like, crystal meth and crocodile legal. It means you have, you know, for example, uh, the opiate pain pills would be legal. Um, you have Adderall, you'd be able to get over the counter, that would be legal. You'd have, uh, I mean, obviously, alcohol, marijuana, cocaine is on the bubble, you know. Maybe you have some sort of regulations as to how pure it is. And uh, with the regulation, you also keep the black market open, but I think the black market would be smaller than, uh, it obviously would be smaller than what it is right now. So... It's also a way to tick down crime, like I said, because when it, when it's all out in the open and it's legal, tax, and regulated, well, that means legitimate businesses are involved, and when they have a problem, they go, you know, uh, and solve it at court, wearing suits and ties. As opposed to now, if there's a problem in the drug market, what happens? You solve it with guns in the street. That's why there's an, a literal hot war going on, and it's called the drug war. The cartels are massacring people, and there's firefights, and there's mega cartels now that fucking behead people and act like ISIS. So the answer is to legalize, tax, and regulate drugs. But no, that doesn't mean that every, every single drug is regulated. Think about it like this. If I say cigarettes should be legal, does that mean that cigarettes should be legal and they should be allowed to put cyanide as one of the ingredients? No, you'd say that's crazy. Just because Kyle says cigarettes should be legal doesn't mean he's saying cyanide-laced cigarettes should be legal. That's not true at all. Well, it's the same thing. So we allow cigarettes, but we don't allow that ingredient in cigarettes. We don't. We shouldn't allow many of the carcinogens in cigarettes to be in cigarettes. You should regulate it to make it more safe, but you allow it. Same thing with drugs. Okay, so you should have various drugs legal, but you don't allow the worst substances, the worst chemicals that they're cut with as to be part of it. That is illegal. So it's a complex uh, conversation to have, 
But just know that a lot hinges on that last word, which is regulation. So when I say legalize, tax, and regulate, everybody gets the first two parts, legalize and tax it. But the regulation, a lot hinges on that. And that's why you need policy experts and medical experts and people to weigh in on that. And also, I do think that if you have a society that, that legalizes substances like that, which again is what I prefer, you should also have a system set up where you have rehab and, you know, a, a process by which you can deal with addiction because there, of course, you're going to be legitimately addicted people no matter how well you craft the policy. It's just par for the course. It just happens. So it's the same thing with alcohol. Alcohol is legal. There are many alcoholics, but nobody says let's ban alcohol. So we should have a system set up that is there to help those people while still having the, the substances um, legal.